uh, hello everyone <clears throat> today i'm going to uh, explain about what is bp in s4 hana if it is a 1909 or 2020 which you know all this is the latest version sap released right so you might be knowing about this concept but i am going to tell a little more about uh, detailed info that may that may help you to understand better okay let's uh, discuss uh, let's understand like what is bp business partner okay business partner is a concept which is not new it was there in ecc also but when it comes to as for hana here we are going to manage or create all the activity of creation of customer vendor and now it is vendor is called as a supplier in s hana system okay we will call it a supplier master not like vendor master okay what exactly this business partner and you can see here six digit zeros right so how the sap has given this bp roles and which table will update when you create the business partner that i'm going to show you then we'll discuss or like uh, when then i'll explain more about the uh, next level of understanding okay now let's go to sap system so i'll log in with the user id and password okay so this is the sap s4 hana 1909 system you can see the uh, the screen, the there's an easy access screen, front end. The user is going to uh, create all the activity in the screen. So how to get into BP transaction? You can type here BP and you can go to the screen. Or example, you are following in ECC the path like logistics, metal management, purchasing, master data, then vendor. And centrally, if I'm going to create a vendor, then SK01 is the T code used, right? So now when I click on this, how the system will behave? It is redirecting to the transaction BP as transaction SK01 is obsolete, right? So here you can find there are three options, business partner created as person organization group. Now I'm going with the organization because I want to create a uh, business partner as an organization an organization okay then here once you get into this screen don't get confused what to do what next step to do here just click on organization okay then this pop will come click on s okay then close this uh, window here you can close and you can maximize the screen here you can see create in a BP role. So it is now in the finance accounting, some supplier is showing here. Always you have to create business partner with double zero, double zero, double zero. This is the business partner general. As I shown in the presentation, like this is the business partner. Just click on create. Nothing to add any detail. Just I'm going to put a, a, like a general details. Okay, I'll just save it first. Okay, this is the general, I can say this is Mac engineering and save. Okay, it's asking another entry required. Okay, I'll, here I'll search or uh, enter Mac. Okay, then save it. Okay, now you can see business partner got created. I did not enter much details, like which is mandatory. I have just entered, I have just entered and it got created. Now I'll copy this business partner. Okay, just copy this. Okay. So my system got stuck, let me Login again. Uh, 
Oke. Okay. I'll go to BP. And here, this is the latest business partner which I created. Just I press enter. Then I can see this is a detailed information about the business partner. I'll double click on this. Okay, you can see this is a display of the business partner. Now, let me explain. What is supplier related data to be maintained? What is the supplier accounting and supplier purchasing that you can see? There is a BP role. FLV N00 is for supplier accounting. And FLV N01 is for the supplier purchasing. And these data will be stored in the table FLF A1, LF B1. Previous data is got stored under BUT 000. Okay, let me show that first before going with the supplier details. I'll open another screen, SC16N. So here it is a table. I'll just try to display you the table. Like I'll execute and I'll pass the, uh, the business partner number and execute. Here you can see business partner got stored under this table with the group, the search item, whatever you entered in the front end, right? It got stored in this table. And here you can see business partner GUID. Which this is the unique ID will generate for every business partner. Okay, now I'll come back. And I'll show you how to extend, I can say, how to create a supplier for this business partner. Just select here. Don't confuse with these many entries. So here you just, this is all customized by some other uh, learners or maybe consultants. Let's select FLVN01 for the supplier. Okay, here roles are not showing. Okay, I'll go to backend to this configuration. I say reference IMG, then cross application components, then here SAP business partner, then here business partner, then basic settings, then go to business role, define BP roles. Let's see whether that vendor and uh, the supplier is like FLV and double zero is for accounting. And this is for purchasing. You can see here, it's for purchasing one. This is the financial accounting one. So definitely this will be available. Okay, I'll just go to the screen. Enter. Then you have to choose here F L. I think this is a display. I have to change. Let's change here when i change in bp role sorry i was not observing this one when you go to change mode then you will find that roles we'll go to fl series here okay here you can see flv n0 n1 we have to find our supplier here okay this is the supplier First, we should create supplier with respect to the to the purchasing. Okay, so I'll click on purchasing. I'll go with the purchasing. Example, I'll take some customized one. 
supplier, uh, sorry, purchase organization, and I'll adopt it. So this is adopted now, and it's asking for the mandatory field to enter. Order currency is INR. Then any other payment terms and all you can select here. If vendor is supplying the goods within 30 days, you're like you're going to pay the amount, then you can choose this payment terms. Then you just save it. Here, here you can see the supplier. Okay, so it is asking for some standard address with the errors. Okay, let me select this language, which is not entered before. Then country code. Then what else? Like city, postal code. Okay, what are all the mandatory field? You have to enter here, required field is city, like I'm going to enter city Bangalore, then save it. Okay, now this is maintained. So how to see this uh, like purchasing level, whether it is done or not. Okay, here you can see partner function. Okay. And uh, sorry, I'm going to this additional purchasing, purchasing information, everything, right? We have to see any details you can find here, okay? This is all maintained now. Now, how to see whether we got, uh, it, it got extended to a company code. Still, it is not. Only we have done for the purchase organization. Now, I, have, I want to ex extend to the company code. How to do that? Simply you just choose here, FLVN00. FLVN. Okay. Okay. Now, when I choose this FLVN00, FI supplier, okay, new company code, I'm going to select here. I'm going to choose to the, like, uh, I am going to choose the company code from this list here. Example, this is the standard one I'm going to take. Let's see. Okay. Here it is. Uh, there are two fields are mandatory. One is reconciliation account. I'm choosing the reconciliation account. This is the vendor, domestic vendor. And the sort key, I'm choosing uh, the purchase order number. Okay, then save it. Okay, here you can see there's a vendor number generated, right? This is a vendor number and this is a business partner. I'm going to add to this sheet. Okay, and this is the supplier details. Now we are going to check the, okay, here it is asking the payment terms. I'll choose the payment terms within 30 days. Okay, then I'm going to save it. Okay, now everything is extended for the supplier, purchase organization, company code and all right. Now I'm going to show you the table where exactly these details are maintained. As there are two tables are there, LFA1 and LFB1. LFA1, which is for supplier mass gender selection. So I'm going to uh, show you the vendor details, which is created here, execute. And you're able to see the details of vendor, postal code, which I entered, Bangalore city, address, Mac engineering, Bangalore. You can see all the details here. Okay, now I go with LF B1. Which is vendor master company code. Another is LF M1 is there. I'll show that also. Okay, LF A1, LF B1, LF M1. Enter here. Then you can see the details of GL account. That is reconciliation account. Then payment terms. All the details which is entered in the company code level it is showing here. 
then I'm going to show LFM one, which is purchasing dot level, purchasing organization level. So this is a purchase organization I selected by RPO vendor, then payment terms which I selected, currency INR. So everything is just uh, storing in this under this table. This is about overall details on how to create BP and then how to extend to a supplier, how to extend to a accounting. So as we are using in a ECC, we are used to create SK01. From there, you are going to centrally creating all the vendors and all then, okay, purchasing level, then accounting level, we had uh, different three uh, levels, okay. In uh, S4 HANA system, through a BP, you're going to do all that. Example, if I want to create customer, then even that also can be maintained here. There's option, there's a series, I think FL uh, CU is there. Let me check that. You see here, this is for FLCU01 for the customer. If you want to create a customer uh, master, then this is a detail. So you can see here sales and distribution will come into picture. In the MM side, metal management, you can see a purchasing organization. When it, when it comes to a customer, it's SD, sales and distribution. Then you, have to, you should choose the sales organization. Example, if I choose sales organization here, distribution channel, then division. I'm just trying out. Uh, I don't know uh, whether it is going to work out. Let's see. Okay, see, uh, some sales area does not exist. So that there is no combination, I think. So if I use uh, this entry, let's see. Uh, it's asking sales district now. Let's fill south region and save it simple right if you know some idea about sd right you can able to uh, create this uh, sales uh, customer data for that example there is another entry flcu double zero i think that will create uh, accounting details example if i want to extend this uh, customer for the company code right so this is a customer and this is a uh, Number you can see this is a customer number, this is a vendor number. So the customer number and BP button number are both the same. If you want to have a different customer number, then that can be configured. Now I'm going to uh, extend it for the company code. I can see thousand. Okay, then it is asking for the reconciliation account. Enter, then just save it. Okay, changes got saved. So where exactly this customer data will be stored? And I'm going to show system, there is a K and A1. Then pass this customer number and just see the entry, see. Mac engineering, this details, all that you can see. Okay, this is with the SD side, I can say. I'm not very sure that SD, settings and all because not that much familiar, but I wanted to show this, how to create a customer, vendor, everything in a single transaction. Okay, thank you.